eating awareness. Don't eat and speak on the phone at the same time. Don't eat while you're driving. You know, the other day I saw a person who was driving their car. In one hand, they had their <laughs> cell phone, you know, like this in one ear. In the other way, they were gulping a sandwich and something else I couldn't see. And then they were driving their car at the same time. Now, how do you think that food is going to be digested when you do that? There was a study that was done and reported in the journal Science where they were feeding rabbits diets that were extremely high in cholesterol. So they found that there was one group of rabbits that didn't get the same degree of high cholesterol level of the hardening of the arteries. And what was the difference between the rabbits that were getting hardening of the arteries and the high levels of cholesterol? The technician who was feeding these rabbits the high cholesterol diet, instead of throwing the food at them, he would pet them and cuddle them and then feed them the same poisonous food. But now because of that experience of cuddling and petting, because the rabbits felt good inside, the food got metabolized into a different metabolic pathway. So it's not just what you eat, but how you're feeling emotionally when you eat that determines the metabolic pathway of your food. So if you're angry, if you're upset, don't eat. <laughs> okay, because no matter what you eat, it'll be Gen, it will generate toxicity in your body. Say, I'll settle down. When I'm settled down, I'll eat. You know, in many cultures where eating is a celebration, always a celebration. <laughs> we have music, we have laughter, we have family getting together, and we're all happy when we're eating. Then the food gets metabolized into a very nurturing metabolic pathway. And this all happens through what are called neuropeptides, those molecules of emotion that determine where the food should go. So once again, it's not just what you eat, but how you eat.